Wales marked the westernmost point of the Roman Empire. As an important defensive location, the Romans had a fortress, a bath complex, and an amphitheater in Caerleon for 300 years beginning in 75 AD. The Roman Bath Museum is located on the site of the Roman fortress and is worth a brief visit. The amphitheater is the best preserved of any Roman theater in Britain, and it has been closely tied to the legend of King Arthur. Geoffrey of Monmouth, the first author to write at length of King Arthur, makes Caerleon the capital of Arthur's kingdom. Caerleon has often been suggested as the source of the round table of King Arthur. Chepstow Castle is the oldest surviving post-Roman stone fortification in Britain. Located above the cliffs on the River Wye, construction began in 1067, one year after the Battle of Hastings. The castle has four open court areas called bailies that suggest four different periods of construction during which the castle was enlarged. The strategic location high above the Wye River makes for a magnificent setting for this castle. Until 1962, these doors, which are 800 years old, hung in the main gateway, when it was realized that they are the oldest existing doors in Europe, they were put on display in a protected area. The Great Hall is the oldest part of the castle. The arch above the main doorway contains brick from a nearby Roman fort. Originally it stood alone, but additions have been added above and below it so that the castle forms an elongated structure along the ridgeland overlooking the river.
Tintern Abbey was founded by Walter de Clare on May 9, 1131. The Abbey is situated on the Welsh side of the River Wye, which forms the border with England. It was the second Cistercian Abbey established in Britain and the first one established in Wales. The Cistercian monks who lived at Tindhern came from Chartres, France and followed the rule of St. Benedict. The abbey fell into ruins during the dissolution of the monasteries under the reign of Henry VIII. The ruins we see today exist from 400 years of construction that began in 1136. The large church contained within the abbey was built between 1269 and 1301. The church is cruciform in design with an owl nave, a chapel in each transept, and a squared chancel at the end of the aisle. The nave measures 228 feet long, while the transepts measure 150 feet across. The abbey was surrendered to the forces of Henry VIII on September 3, 1536, and a rapid decline set in on the property after the lead roof was removed. The ruins have been celebrated in poetry, in paintings by visitors since the 18th century. <laughs>